This is my Game Boy Advance SP. Right now it's overclocked. It should be running around about 32 megahertz. Now let's uh, watch the intro screen. You could say that's about double the speed of the normal intro. Now, I want to put a regular Game Boy Color game in. Let's let the intro screen play. Right now, it's running at 32 megahertz. That's uh, double the speed of a normal machine. If you pay attention to the counter that was up there, you can see it's counting at twice the speed. Basically, two seconds equals one in our time now. Well, we'll come back. Let's just start a quick game. I'll just let the computer take me. Now, you see this, let's see what the Game Boy Color Intro screen really looks like. Well, the Game Boy Advance screen. That's what it comes up as. Let's show you again. That's quick, isn't it? Alright, now let's put a Game Boy Advance game in there. Fire this puppy up. This happens to be one of my Mega Man games. I'm going to show you where this game actually crashes because of the speed of the processor. I mean, running at double its speed. Just imagine overclocking your average computer at double its clock speed. Of course, it's going to crash. Alright, let's check in. I'm gonna become a victim now. Let's walk around till we have to do something here. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's get some chips. Come on. Now watch this, the machine will actually crash at a set point. Ah, we have to destroy one of these things. And it crashes. Isn't that fantastic? Overclock Game Boy Advance at 32 megahertz signing up.